Hi, this is Victor from 5-Minute Lessons. This is the second video of the three-part video series about Google Classroom. In this video, we will explore the content of the Classwork page to see how we can add materials and how we can use assignment or quiz assignment to assess our students. This lesson will specifically discuss how to do the following tasks. Create a topic. Create a material. Create a question. Create an assignment, add a rubric, create a quiz assignment, and how to set up the Google Form in Quiz Assignment. Before we start, let us go to the People page. Notice that I already added three students. Suppose they are enrolled in this class. Now how to create a topic? Go to the Classwork page. Classwork page is where you can add and organize materials and conduct assessments. To add topic, click Create and select Topic. Enter the topic's name. Then click Add. Use the three-dot symbol to rename, delete, copy link, move up or move down when we have multiple topics. Now, how do we add a material? In Classwork page, click Create then select Material. On the next page, enter the title. Description is optional. Click the Add button to upload file from Google Drive, enter link, upload file from computer, and enter a YouTube video link. We may also create files using docs, slides, sheets, drawings, and forms. For this demonstration, I am going to upload file from computer. On the right side, we may assign this to multiple classes and select students who can see the material. Select the drop-down arrow of Topic, then select where you want the material to be included. Go to the upper right side of the page, then select the drop-down arrow. The options are Post. This will post right away the material. Schedule. This will set time and date when the material will be posted. So for example, we would like to post it on July 6, 2020 at 8 p.m. For now, we'll click Cancel. Other options are Save Draft. This will keep a copy of the material for a later use. Discard Draft. This will remove the draft. I am going to select Post. Once done, Notice that it is under the topic where it should be. On the right side of the added material, click the three-dot symbol for other options like edit, delete, copy link, move up, and move down. Now how do we add question? In Classwork page, click create then select question. On the next page, type your question. Select how the student will answer. Is it short answer or multiple choice? I'll select multiple choice. Let's say these are the options. On the right side, you can set which classes will see the post, assign specific students who can view the post, Choose if this has points or if it is ungraded. When is the due date? What topic? And whether the student can see the summary of all answers. Go to the upper right side of the page, then select the drop down arrow to select either Ask, Schedule, Save Draft, or Discard Draft. I'll select Ask.
Once added, notice that it is under the topic. On the right side of the added question, click the three dot symbol. The options are edit, delete, copy link, move up, and move down. I am going to click move down. Now how do we create an assignment? In classwork page, click create then select assignment. Click the Add button to upload file from Google Drive, enter link, upload file from a computer, and enter a YouTube video link. We may also create files using docs, slides, sheets, drawings, and forms. For this demonstration, let's create a docs file. Notice that the new tab shows. This is where you can write your instruction or question for the student to answer. At the upper left side of the page, enter the docs file name. On the docs workspace, write your assignment. Note that docs are automatically saved when there is an internet connection. We can close the tab. We can choose how to share this file with our class. We can select students all view the same single file, students all view and can edit the same single file, or each individual student gets their own copy. Note that if this is selected, the files are automatically stored in students' class folders in Google Drive. For this demo, I will select Make a Copy for each student. On the right side, we may assign this to multiple classes and select students who can see the material. We can set points and due date. Select the drop-down arrow of Topic. Go to the upper right side of the page, then select the drop-down arrow. The options are Assign, Schedule, Save Draft, and Discard Draft. I am going to select Assign. Once added, notice that it is under the topic. On the right side of the added assignment, click the three-dot symbol to edit, delete, copy link, move up, and move down. Now, how do we add a rubric? For this demo, go to Classroom page and locate the assignment classwork. On the right side of the post, click the three-dot symbol and select Edit. On the lower right side of the page, click Rubric. Notice the options are Create Rubric, Reuse Rubric, and Import from Sheets. Let's select Create Rubric. On the next page, you can add criteria to evaluate student work as well as any performance levels or descriptions you want to include. Students will receive a copy of this rubric with their assignment. When use scoring is enabled, you will be required to put points in each criterion. When disabled, What is required is the level title. For our demo, we are going to enable use scoring. Now let's apply information to this rubrics. Enter the required criterion title. Enter the description. Let's say the required points is 40, level title, and here's the description of excellent. Click the plus sign to add another points. Let's say we are done with the first criterion. Click Add a criterion to enter another criterion. After all criteria are added, look at the upper right side of the page. It will show the highest score that the student can get in the assignment. 
click Save button to keep the rubric. Then click Save button to save your changes. Now how do we create a quiz assignment? In Classwork page, click Create then select Quiz Assignment. On the next page, enter the title. Observe that, similar to Assignment, Add and Create buttons are also present. Notice that there is a Google Form included in Quiz Assignment. This is where we can put our questions. Click to edit the form. Now let me introduce the Google Form. On the new tab that appears, Google Form is displayed. At the upper left side, enter the file name. At the center of the page, enter the form title and description. Notice that at the bottom of the form title is a place where we can put our questions and also the options. You can also insert an image. You can change the way to get the student's answer. It may be through short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, file upload, linear scale, multiple choice grid, check box grid, date or time. For our introduction to Google Form, we will use multiple choice first. Enter the options. You may also insert an image for every option. Click X symbol to remove the option. Click answer key to assign the correct answer and the corresponding point. For example, one point and the correct answer is this. To give an insight about the answer, you may click add answer feedback. Click done once completed. Other options on the lower part of the question are Duplicate, Delete, and Required. Required must be enabled if you want the student to answer all the questions. On the right side of the question, you will see the following symbols. Add Question, Import Questions, Add Title and Description, Add Image, Add Video, and Add Section. Click Add Question to add another question and options. At the upper right side, you will see the number of points that the student can get. Once done writing all the questions, click Responses. Enable Accepting Responses if you are still expecting students to answer the form. Disable it if everyone is done taking your quiz or if the time allotted to take the quiz is over. For now, we will enable it. At the upper right side of the page, you can find the following options. Customize theme. This will allow you to customize your Google Form. Preview. This shows how the form will be seen by students. Setting. This is an important part in making a quiz. Under General tab, check Collect Email Address checkbox to get the respondent's email address. 
limit to one response will require student to log in to be able to take the quiz. I am going to check this. Do not put check mark to the edit after submit and see summary charts and text responses to ensure that the students will not be able to change their answers after submitting the form and will not be able to see the trend of the class's answers. Under Presentation tab, you may show Progress Bar. You may also let Google Form shuffle question order. You can write confirmation message that will appear after the student press the Submit button. Under Quizzes tab, enable Make this a quiz to assign point values to questions and allow auto-grading. For the release grade, select Later after Manual Review option to manually send the result. You may uncheck this option so that the respondents cannot see them. You may check this later when you are ready to manually send the result to the email addresses of your students. Click Save. Next is the Send button. This allows you to get the link that you can send to your students. For this demonstration, this will be skipped because the Google Classroom already has the link to this form. And that's how we create quiz in Google Form. Going back to the quiz assignment setup, on the right side, we may assign this to multiple classes and select students who can see the quiz. We can also set the points and due date. Let's also select the correct topic. Go to the upper right side of the page, then select the drop-down arrow to select either to assign it now, schedule, save draft, or discard draft. I am going to select assign. On the right side of the added quiz, select the three dot symbol to edit, delete, copy link, move up, or move down. This ends our part 2 of Introduction to Google Classroom. Just a summary, I talked about the Classwork page and I introduced Google Forms. Please watch our next video about Google Classroom which will talk about the Grades page. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.